Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we will be talking about mucus boosting power of different uh, water conditioners. So we talked about water conditioners in our other video on the fish products that you actually need, which really isn't that many. But when now you go to water conditioners, there is a whole slew of different products with different additives that are guaranteed to, you know, make your fish healthier, make their mucus coat more robust. And really, unfortunately, that's not the case. And what I did is I actually did some research and looked for some published articles. So this first one is a review of polymer-based water conditioners for reduction of handling related injury. So this is specific kind of more to aquaculture fish that have say been handled and kind of moved around. But it looked at the different effective components that are in a couple different products. Um, it is polyvinyl pyrolodone, also known as PVP, and aloe vera. Um, so those are the two big additives. Now what this lovely article described is there is a need to empirically test the effectiveness of water conditioners at preventing damage to and promoting healing of the mucus layer basically telling us we need to actually do some research because a lot of these claims are completely unfounded. So we look at our next paper here. This is actually done by a colleague of mine, Dr. Greg Lubart out of NC State. He's awesome and a great fish veterinarian. So this was the laboratory evaluation of different formulations of stress coat for slime production in goldfish, Carassus aratus, and koi, Cyprinus carpio. So this is a very common product that you find on the shelves and it promises to boost the mucus coat of your of your fish, at least koi and goldfish. And now I'm just going to take straight to the conclusions, which I have highlighted here. This paper is available for download pretty much to anyone. So it was found that no stress coat treatments resulted in a significantly higher slime production during any of the time trials for goldfish. So basically, you're probably wasting your money a little bit on a product that's not doing what it says. Hence, paper number one saying we actually need to test these claims. Now, for koi. In koi, histology results showed no difference in slime producing cells in any of the treatment groups. So unfortunately, papers one and two are kind of saying the same thing that a lot of what is printed on these bottles is not true. Now, how do we know this? Well, we have scientific papers that actually went and did the research, um, looked up a couple really old patents from like the early 80s, um, which is kind of where this got started. Really, it was pretty much just one guy. Um, and it's kind of persisted unchecked um, in our industry for a really long time. So if you are looking for a water conditioner, you can skip everything that has to do with mucus production. And you need something that is going to treat chlorine and chloramine. That's it. You don't have to have anything other than that. Completely forget all the fancy labels that you see. Um, it really comes down to treating chlorine and chloramine. It's really the only product that you need. So always make sure you're only adding one product, one, one. That's all, that's all you need, just, just one. If you add more products, I, I've seen up to four added to one tank at one time. Um, it's going to mess with your water currency. It's going to mess with your fish because, again, all that stuff is just going to start coating the gills and it makes it a little hard to breathe. So one product, treating chlorine, chloramine, that's all you need. Don't worry about any sort of fancy additives. You really don't need them. Um, and really that's gonna be best to your fish and hopefully take the stress out of keeping them happy and healthy. So hopefully you've learned something today. Again, both of these publications are available for free on the internet. Um, I'll include links to them in the notes for this particular video. If you have any other questions or looking for more fish health information, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.